And you know what? You know what people who have bad eyesight wear? Glasses. And you know what this witness isn't currently wearing? Glasses. And you know what was found underneath the deceased's body? Glasses. What does that tell us, ladies and gents? Could this be our killer, perhaps? Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. Wow, the response on the very first video in this brand new Ace Attorney game that we just started, Justice for All, was amazing. Like, hello if you're new. Um, I got a lot of subs from that video, so if this is the first or second time watching me, hi. I'm Michaela. I'm a real life lawyer. We've been playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the video game, and we just made it to the second game, Justice for All. And last episode was quite eventful, actually. The first case of this game opened by Phoenix Wright getting mobbed? I mean, it was only one person, so I don't really know if you can count that as a mob, but he got abuse. He got battered, if you will. And as a result of the abuse, he got amnesia because homeboy has a head injury and won't go to the freaking doctor. Instead, he just decided to proceed into a trial, not remembering absolutely anything, including who his client is, what his client is alleged of doing, or how to practice law. So that was the game's very creative way of making the very first case a tutorial, yet somehow it still tripped me up. And thank you guys for being nice about that, but no, that was absolutely on me. And I'm not gonna say I won't let it happen again, cause I, you know, it, it might, it might. But hopefully going forward, we have that mistake out of the way and we can move forward with confidence and clarity and act like I actually do this for a living. Anyway, in that first episode, we met two new characters, I believe, Dustin Prince, the victim. And thank you to the person who commented about the pun being Dusting Prince, we love. And we met Miss Maggie Bird, which breaks my heart to say just a little bit, like not to be dramatic, but Birdie? would have been so much cuter. The last name is B-Y-R-D-E, and I was going with Birdie the entire time, but several of you guys commented that it's actually Bird, and I did do my own research just to confirm without any spoilers, of course, and unfortunately, I, I do think it is Bird, R.I.P. Birdie. Anyways, Maggie is being accused of killing her lover, Mr. Dustin, and as usual, it is our job to prove them wrong. So that's what we'll be doing today. We are going to do the second part of the trial of the very first case, hopefully wrap it up into a tight little bow and send Maggie on her way. But before we get into it, the candle of the day is Vanilla Snowflake by Bath and Body Works. And thank you very much to the person who commented on my playthrough of Super Mario RPG, which I'm also doing here on YouTube, if you guys did not know. I had asked if y'all trim your wicks, like when you get a new candle or right before you light a candle, honestly. And like, I know you're supposed to, but like it helped hearing from an actual human being that like they do that and it helps. So I trimmed my wicks today. Can't promise I'm gonna do it every time though, let's be honest. And I'm so, so excited to be back and talk to you guys. It's always so wonderful responding to your comments. And again, just thank you for all the support I get on these videos. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Cheers. I told y'all last video, it needed to get more festive looking. So I hope you guys like the little lights and garland I bought. It's probably getting cut off here for the most part, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Also from last video, we have severely backtracked with Edgeworth and the judge. And I know guys, I know that the fifth case from the first game was technically out of order because it was added later. I get it, I get it. But dang, did we have to go back to dang near case one status with them? Like Gummy Gums is no longer Gummy Gums, okay? He is Gumshoe until further notice because his attitude last game was not very pleasing to me. Let's just leave it at that. Anywho, okay. Back to episode one, The Lost Turnabout, part one dash two. Yeah, case one, episode two. Y'all get it, trial. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay, yes, so same day, I believe, which is why it's so late in the afternoon and we're taking a quick recess. Yeah, bird. Ugh, birdie would have been so much cuter. I'm so sad about that. Bird. Maybe it'll grow on me. Neither can I. You and me both. You and me both. This is not a good angle for you, queen. That. It's giving shark. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know. Mm. Are you a doctor by chance? I'm sorry? 
Uh, okay, so what we're not what we're not gonna do is reverse the head trauma that I received from being slapped with what a fire extinguisher was it whatever it was a blunt object we're not gonna reverse that by you kicking me in the head maggie we're just gonna go with maggie no jesus yeah well it's giving violent and it's giving killer so how about we take a step back okay back up a little bit and leave my head alone yeah do you try to tackle everyone's problems or just try to tackle everyone? All right. We're not starting off good today, Miss Bird. Oh, period. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. The strong salute. Okay. I mean, I do already know that, but sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, it is a weird name. I mean, but I kind of like it. Like, in real life, the name Phoenix, obnoxious, pretentious. If you're a Phoenix watching this, by the way, I love it. Okay, I love it. But, like, let's be honest. It's, it's a name that, like, you have to be somebody with that kind of name. So... Yeah... And that is, um, okay, sure. Okay. Why do I need this in the court record? <laughs> yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yes, bird. Okay, so last video that several, we had several concrete pieces of evidence, if you will. First of all, they were claiming that the victim, Dustin, wrote Maggie's name in his dying moments with his right hand. However, we proved that he was actually left-handed when we presented a glove that Bird had gotten him for a present that goes on. It, it was a long story. You had to be there. Anyways, we proved that. And what else did we prove last episode? What else do we have in this court record? Oh, I mean, yeah, there were glasses found and Maggie's glasses happen to be missing, which we don't love. But you know what? It is. It is what it is. Yeah, that was the photo we were talking about just now. And yeah, I mean, I guess that was really the main thing. But I'm not convinced. I don't think she did it, even though she's she's been a lot so far. <laughs> Yes, Phoenix. Check your dang pocket, dude. <laughs> okay. Not the blue badger hoodie. I'm dead. Did you guys see that? Ooh! Oh my God. Y'all comment this like at least once. Okay, hold on. Let me not pause on this screen. This is a lot. Hold on. Okay. Y'all have commented several times something about making something transparent and I always freaking forget. So let me see if I can do it now. I don't know what, oh, sound effects. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, so this is what y'all always tell me to adjust, but like, what does it do? Oh, how do I adjust it? Why is it not adjusting? Oh, George, Jesus. Okay. There we go. Oh, mm, does it make that much of a difference though? I kind of like it like this. I don't know. I'll adjust it for now and I'll see how I feel about it. Comment down below if you guys have a preference of how it usually is with the transparency being off or if y'all like the high transparency. Let me know what y'all want and we can work together for a mutual solution. I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't like change though. Oh, oh, wait. I kind of, okay. Okay. Wait, I get it now. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. I see why y'all have commented this. Okay, let's go with it for now. And of course, Dustin's hand is in his glove on his left. Wait. Oh, no, she has the glove in her hand. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, this is so interesting with the transparent. Wait, do I like this? I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I think the text is still pretty easy to read for the most part. Phoenix. Yes! Jesus. I hope not. Why would it? Oh my god. Who? Maya? What are you doing here? Wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those super long credits where she went off to whatever country to explore was, was after the fourth case. So why is she back here? I am confused. Maya, where did you come from? Oh my God. This is just ridiculous. Yes, Phoenix. Oh, okay. They knew each other. Cute. Wait, guys. I kind of, like, I'm sorry. You can, like, <laughs> literally every comment. Michaela, if you do the transparency for the text box, you can see more of the sprites and more of what's going on. And, like, look, we can see her holding her arm. Like, otherwise, it would just be her shoulders and her head. I kind of, I kind of can't believe I just did this. I don't know. Again, just let me know if y'all have a preference. Yes. Um, Maya, I missed you so much. I don't know why you're here, but I, I'm so glad you're back. Okay. Of course you did, Queen. Of course you did. Oh, okay. Interesting. I would love to take a look at that. We're going to go ahead and look at that right now. Also, let me look at this business card, which I can't look at. Okay, never mind. Oh, and I can't look at that either. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot she calls me Nick. <laughs> what? Okay, maybe y'all can let me know chronologically how that makes sense, because why is Maya back here and acting like she's my assistant? Oh, those were in the phone Maggie found, so maybe that's not my cell phone. Oh, my God, Maya, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez, Bailiff. Fine. Why are you yelling at me? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Phoenix and I are just the same sometimes. All right, y'all. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Payne. Hello, Uji. Actually, no, you're Judge again, too. For now. Okay, I don't know how I feel about the transparent text box here.
Mmm, I don't know how I feel about it now. That's never a good preface. No! Okay. Who? A drifter. Okay. Oh. Is that the man who hit me in the head in the first episode? Who are you? First of all, you're beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Why are you so gorgeous, sir? Like, it's giving. It really is, which I hate because you're a criminal, but it's, it is giving, it's giving model. And we love, I love your eyes. I love the bottom eyelashes. The single blonde streak is cute. Outfit is on point. I love, but listen, you're not going to Gant me. Okay. I loved Gant at first too. So no, we're not doing that. Um, not exactly. Correct, correct. Oh, has he? Oh my God. Are you old bag son or something? Jesus, we do not need another. Thank you. We do not need that again. No. His little bang. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and university? <laughs> the diamond on his cuff? I'm dead. Sir, please answer the question. Sir, sir. You're fighting the wrong power, okay? Oh my god. Judge, please hold him in contempt. This is this is what I'm talking about. Why have we gone so far back in time? Judge, where is your backbone? Where did you leave it at? Go find it. Like, oh my god. Great. Richard Wellington. Of course your name is Richard Wellington. Is there a pun there? Richard Wellington. I mean, I'm guessing it's rich and well a ton. I don't know, that's the best I got. Let me know if I, if I caught that one. The drifting vir virtuoso, a PhD in drifting. Okay, okay, okay. You know what guys? I don't like the transparent text box here. Let me see what it looks like on low instead of off. At least for the trials. I like that better. That's a little bit of a in-between, like a happy medium. <laughs> Sir, how, okay. How old are you No, Are you in the court record yet? Okay, how old? Dude, you're 22. You're not prepubescent. You're not a boy. And what is wrong with you? Oh, he's still looking for the right cop. That's really funny. Okay, so he's he's just a lunatic. That's no surprise. <laughs> Wellington, if you would just testify, you could tell us what you were doing and you can describe it any way you want, babe. So let's, let's get to it. Okay. Let's get to it. Thank you. About your life situation. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think this low might just have to be the best option because you can still see through it because there would be so much cut off right now, guys. But it's still opaque enough. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about it now. 
Okay. Okay, kind of weird to be hitting on the defendant in the middle of you testifying against them, but sure. Okay. A banana? Kind of random. I did. I I heard him. Maya, we've been through this before, babe. Why are, why are we acting brand new? Well, Phoenix, Phoenix hasn't been through this before because his mind is gone, but you have. You have. Oh, gorgeous. We love. Okay. Correct. The math is mathing. Amazing. I can't wait to do so much better today than I did last video. I really can't wait. I hope I do. All right. Whoa. Okay. Y'all can't see it? Oh, that, I kind of hate that. Okay. Y'all can't see it, but behind my little head, I might move my head down so y'all can see it this time. But in case I don't, my battery percentage is two out of five. And like, Every single new day, it's, well, I mean, it's the same day. Usually every video, my battery is full. Like it starts from the beginning, but maybe because it's trial form or trial ladder, it's the same day, whatever. I do hate that though, because I'm starting this trial with two life out of five. That's not, it's not a good way to start, but what are we going to do about it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. See, and now I'm getting distracted. Focus. Press. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was kind of rude. <laughs> well, at least I graduated Wellington. What college are you going to? Oh, none? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's rough. Hmm, a baboon. Okay. Now who's being rude? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Luckily for all of us, it won't. It 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 won't. But all right. <laughs> okay. Past six p.m. I mean, did he have a cell phone? I, I mean, perhaps. Okay, are you going to actually say anything of substance that's not just insults? Like, come on, guy. Press harder. Come on now. Your Honor, please direct the witness to answer the question. I object to this witness being non-responsive. Your Honor, Your Honor, Judge. Wow, thank you so much. We thoroughly appreciate it. You could have just... Oh my God. Wearing a watch does not mean you're living unfree and with constraints. You, time doesn't just not pass because you're not aware of it passing, babe. Okay. He's like kind of the worst, but not like in a bat. Like he's, he, <laughs> Let's just say I like him more than Jake Marshall and Angel Star, but he's also a D-I-C-K. You know what I mean? I think we can all agree about that. He was wearing a uniform. Wellington, please. Not the cheap, low-quality shoes. I mean, yeah, it's probably going to be the uniform. <laughs> mm. 
No, Maya. No. He is bluffing. Do not take anything he says seriously. Oh, you're an animal now? Oh my god. Like, oh, I hate him, but he's like, he's saying stuff that makes sense. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. It's a love-hate right now. Well, not a love-hate. It's a like-hate between me and Wellington right now. I, I don't know what I think of him yet. Other than he hit me in the head, which I, I keep forgetting, apparently. Pain. Oh my god. Right? Like, Judge, if you would do your job, I wouldn't have to do it for you. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wellington, you're literally 22 years old. And you're still trying to decide what college you want to go to. Not because you have all these options either. Like, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Who gave you this extreme false sense of confidence? Alright, is this the last statement? Yep, okay. Oh, he means the baseball glove, which by the way, I'd like to say last video, I did literally say looks like a bunch of bananas. So that's very valid. <laughs> hmm. I mean, he's not lying. He's just really mistaken. Right. Correct. Okay, we're, we're on the same page, guys. Thank you for making it so obvious. But I'm ready to go now. <laughs> okay. Alright, you guys. We're going back into this differently than last time. We're going in strong... Starting off with a bunch of bananas, which in actuality was a baseball glove. Yay! <laughs> God. Dude, use your eyes. Unless you should be wearing glasses and can't actually see this. Oop. It sure is. It sure. Oh, oh, now he's sweating. Now he's shaking in his boots. He's quivering. Okay. You scared? You're scared. Yeah. That's what I freaking thought. What a wimp. That one little thing gets you this upset. You were faking the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not bananas, babes. It's not bananas. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Has bad eyesight. And you know what? You know what people who have bad eyesight wear? Glasses. And you know what this witness isn't currently wearing? Glasses. And you know what was found underneath the deceased's body? glasses. What does that tell us, ladies and gents? Could this be our killer, perhaps? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's not like he hasn't hurt anyone before. <laughs> um, can't say I agree. Can't say I agree. Oh, gorgeous. 
No idea. Oh God. Why is your mouth doing that? And where did your pupils go? Oh, low. I mean, honestly, I do think there's room for doubt, but still. Twenty? Two hundred? Okay, no, because we're about to have a little science lesson or a health, whatever category lesson, because I didn't know this until maybe a few years ago. We all know you want 2020 vision, right? What that means, the first number is what normal people can see. Meaning, if a normal person has 20, that means that they can see something 20 feet away from them, okay? If you have 20, it'll be 20, 20. The first 20 is the typical person, the second 20 is what you have, okay? If it's 20, 20, a typical person can see 20 feet away and you can see 20 feet away. So what do we think 2200 means? That means that while the normal person with good eyesight can see something 20 feet away, he can only... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Did I just confuse myself? Wait. Hold on. No, no, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, listen, listen. I, I got them backwards. The first number is you. The second number is what's normal, okay? <laughs> so my point is what he can see from 20 feet away, a typical eyesighted person can see from 200 feet away, okay? Something you can see from 200 feet away, he has to be 20 feet away from to see. And I'm telling you this because I have 2015 vision, okay? I have better than 2020 vision and I take pride in that. And if my sister's watching, I will continue to make fun of you for being blind because I think it's funny. But my point is, my point is this man is blind, okay? He has to be 20 feet away from something that most people can be 200 feet away from. I digress. Is it because they're crushed under a dead body? Oh, you lost them. He lost them, you guys. He lost them. Lost them. Uh-huh. Oh, there are no ordinary glasses. Well, please, please tell the class what makes them so different. Great question, Phoenix. Did he just choke himself? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, absolutely. Like his credibility is completely shot. Okay. Pain, that's not really how that works. Right? Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, first one down. We're getting into what happened next. Hmm. Is it possible she ran down to her dead lover? Just saying. 6.45? Hmm. That's not true, and that's honestly kind of a long time. Not gonna lie. You just seem to think everybody has so much free time. Thank you, Judge. Happily and with pride. Mm. Wow. 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 
Wow. See, like, he says things like he's very quick-witted, which is kind of why I don't 100% hate him. <laughs> And then he says stuff like that. And it's just like, you're the actual worst. <laughs> mm, great question. Then let him answer that for himself, Payne. He can say that. Wow. Okay. I literally cannot. I literally can't. <laughs> That's honestly a valid question. Okay, Maya, why? The cell phone record, perhaps? Alright, I mean, listen, Maya said take a look at the court record, so we're gonna take a look at the court record. I mean, I can't see anything from that. Time of death. Ooh. Well, that, I mean, yeah, that, that explains that. You called within a minute of this all happening, but that call was made 17 minutes after the incident occurred. Did I do that math right? Yeah. <laughs> Sus, but we're gonna keep pressing. Oh my God, this, this, is, this guy is so weird. Gumshoe. Please. You don't believe, right? Okay, okay. Wow. Gumshoe, gumshoe. I need you to take a deep breath, sir. You, you literally cannot be talking right now. Okay, last statement. I mean, I, I, you're not wrong about that, I guess. Oh, I can, Phoenix. Don't you worry, babe. All right, so let's head back to the 645 statement. Here's the thing. It, it could be on this statement, too, but I think it's going to be this statement. So we're going to present the autopsy report because it says the time of death. We don't know anything about his glasses yet. We have this photo... Which I honestly don't know who took this or when, but you guys can see on the clock back there, it looks like it says seven o'clock. So that might come into play, actually. I don't know. And then we have this photo, of course, and then we have the bananas and then the business card and the con artist. Yeah, let's let's do this. Heck yeah, brother. Yes, yeah, sir. Yep. It's exactly what I mean, Judge. So you didn't call within a minute of happening. Uh, uh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Choke yourself. Choke yourself. If that's what it's going to take to get you off my stand, do it. Yeah. I would actually love that. I would actually love nothing more. Really? Then let him tell us that pain. Your sweat is telling us everything we need to know already. Oh my God. Right? A man is dying and you're in a daze? All right, we're getting somewhere you guys. Uh, uh huh, yeah. You were searching for a phone booth for 15 minutes. Jesus. 
Jesus. You lost your... So that must be the cell phone I have in my pocket. It has to be. <laughs> Very irresponsible, Judge. Terrible. Not the type of person that goes to university. <laughs> I love how everyone just keeps cutting him off. They're like, sir, you're not, you're not going to keep doing that. He did. It could. There is, there is a way. Question further, babe. Let's full send. No need to back off now. Huh. Interesting. Hold on. Okay, because I do still have that phone. Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. This all just popped into my head. Probably not what happened, but Maggie said that somebody had called the cell phone that she found at the park. And she was, and they were like, oh my God, I'm so relieved. Or she was like, I'm so glad you called. Like I have your cell phone, come get it. Cool. What if Phoenix was the one that was given the cell phone for whatever reason. And Wellington knows that or knew that and was trying to get it back, which is why Wellington hit Phoenix over the head. I don't know. That seems kind of far-fetched and random, but that just popped into my head. for 15 minutes. And you just forgot to tell us that? Um, no. Absolutely I do. Absolutely I do, Your Honor. None. Of course. Of course I do. Well, it's not my attorney's badge. I mean, it's probably going to be this because at the end of the day, even though he's going to claim that this wasn't his cell phone, he could have used it. Like it was still there to use. You know what I mean? This is not going to help us with this issue. No. Oh my God. Is that a freaking phone booth, y'all? Like, come on. Be a little FFR, please. I don't even want to look at anything else. Yes, Judge, the crime scene photo. Big problem, Payne. Big problem. Okay, I don't know where this version of Phoenix came from, but I love it. I do. I do. It is. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Wellington, you literally cannot explain that one away, dude. Like, I'm sorry. You're done. You're toast. So much. So much pain. Yeah. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself, Richard? I mean, that's a really terrible reason to kill someone, but all right. Correct. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, 
It's not my job to do that, Judge. Why, why are you asking me to explain what the witness was doing? Why don't you ask the witness to explain that? I mean, what do I even have for options? I mean, okay, very, very far-fetched plot twist. He actually was looking for a phone booth because he couldn't see one because his glasses were crushed in the fall. I mean, the witness could have been writing Maggie. That's an option. Uh, I guess I have an idea. Jeez, I freaking guess. Ugh. Great. Thank you for the reminder, Judge. And my life bar's back. Okay. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Let's make sure that it's not a profile, shall we? <laughs> okay, also slight possibility that's an explanation is he didn't call the police because Maggie is the police and Maggie was literally there and one she saw it so he didn't need to call the police or two she did it so he didn't want to call the police you know what I mean like that's an option I'm not saying that's the answer I'm just saying that's an option Also, if in the last video I was right about nearsighted me means you can see near you, then I don't think this is the answer because the phone booth was near him, so he should have been able to see it. He just can't see things far away. Yeah. And that means these probably are his glasses if he has 2200 vision, but I think he would have been able to see the phone booth, so I don't think that's it. It could be that he was writing Maggie. Ugh, all right, so now we have some options again. Okay. So he wasn't, he didn't call the police right away because he was trying to frame someone else. Or he didn't call the police right away because Maggie is the police. I don't know. I feel like this is stronger. I do. And you know what, you guys? What do I always say? If I die, I die. Oh, well, not looking great. Not looking great. Thanks, Judge. Th thank you. Okay, interesting. So usually, I lose life two at a time. There's ten little pieces of life, and two of them go away each time, so I get five tries. I started this episode today with four pieces of life, thinking I get two bites of the apple, right? Because two and two. But only one piece of life just left. So I guess I have three more chances, which is great. That's great. I am not going to complain about that. <sighs> is it because she is the police? Okay, let me not overthink it. Oh, no. Gosh, freaking darn it. I hope I'm not missing something obvious again. Okay, we're back. We got two pieces of life left. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? I don't know, because he was covering Dustin's body in bruises? Like, Jesus, I don't freaking know. I hope that this isn't the answer because that wouldn't make sense. Oh, 
A list of con artists and their phone numbers stored on the cell phone Maggie found. And I don't think this is it yet because we haven't even connected that phone to him yet. So I doubt that's going to be the answer. I mean, I could present Dustin's profile, but I, I don't feel confident in that. God, there's so many options again. Dang. All right, you guys, I got one chance left. I, I have one freaking chance left. <sighs> okay. Maybe it is the cell phone? I really don't, like, if it's the glasses, that doesn't make sense. But why would it be the cell phone? Freaking darn it, you guys. I'm probably gonna die because I have three, like, decently strong options here. Sadly. <laughs> I don't wanna die. <sighs> Alright, well, which one am I gonna use as my last effort? What is my last ditch effort here? Huh. All right, I'm gonna go with the glasses. Maybe he didn't call the police right away because he knew that his glasses were underneath the victim's body and that would be very suspicious. That's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> I think that was the answer, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, well, we survived this one, you guys, but I regret to inform you all that we literally have one piece of life left and we cannot get anything else wrong today. So hate that. Hmm. You wouldn't guess where I found them, Wellington. You really wouldn't guess. Mm-hmm. Under, Wellington. Under. Yeah, under. Oh, but you did. But you did. Right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'll take it. I will take it. It's so nice to see Maya over there with me again. You know what, Your Honor? I am indicting the witness. <laughs> oh my god. He is a violent dude. Somebody save me. Yes. Yes. Deep six. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, how sweet. Oh, I hate that. Oh, okay. With one life. Yay. No, I'm not, Pain. You just have literally nothing else to say. Oh my gosh. You're an embarrassment. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, we've already covered that, Wellington. We tried. You tried. We tried. But no. No cigar, babes. 
Period. Exactly. Exactly. Not necessarily, no. I mean, yeah, I guess a little bit. Hmm. I mean, yeah, probably. What, was she wearing a name tag or something? I mean, she probably was wearing a name tag. Oh no, he told her on the phone. Duh, of course there's a way. Yep. All right, here we go. Yeah, it has to be the cell phone guys, right? Because Maggie called or he, they called, I don't remember who called who. They spoke on the phone. He said, oh my God, you found my phone. Cool. Maggie said, yeah, come get it. He said, oh, but I didn't get your name. I mean, that's the answer, right? Come on. Come on, guys. Let, let, let's not let's not play around here, people. All right. Gorgeous. OK, it's looking good. Pain, y'all have to stop objecting to relevance when you're losing. That's not, I mean, that is how it works. You do do that in real life too, but stop, stop it. Correct. I liked it. I like that ringtone actually. It's growing on me. Oh, and I didn't get your name, Maggie. That makes so much sense. So much sense. I mean, there was two fatal mistakes, but that, that was the main one. <laughs> Correct. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't really know what the motive is. Oh my God. Oh, judge. Sure. I will prove a motive too. Jesus. No, Maya. Am I ever sure? <laughs> oh, my one piece of life is blinking, you guys. Okay. Witness had a motive. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. What, does he hate cops or something? Probably shouldn't kill one because of it. A little dangerous, but you know. Not really sure what other motive we would have. Oh, a list of con artists and their phone number stored on the cell phone Maggie found. Oh, probably this because Maggie found the phone, so she saw all of the criminals' names and phone numbers. Ooh, so did he try to kill Maggie or something? We're going to go with that. That's my best guess, guys. Here we go. Last chance. Oh, I think this is good, guys. I think this is good. Oh. 
We did. Every single one, Wellington. Every single one. Yep. Yeah, Payne, your little your little witness didn't tell you that, did he? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think you lost everybody with that one, babe. Hmm. <laughs> no, we, we would never know of such a thing. Oh my gosh. Period, Judge. Judge, why is my life bar back again? I don't know. A member, obviously, looking into the group. Y'all, if I get, if I die on this question, that's gonna suck so bad. But I mean, the obvious answer is he's a member. But it's a little too obvious. Okay, I think that was right. Yep. Okay, I, I think we may we may have made it, you guys. We unless they ask me another dang question, we may have made it. Wellington, there's nothing to explain. Like, don't even try. Not everything flashing before his eyes. Pain, you already said that. Get some new dialogue. Thank you. Phoenix is not the only one with amnesia. Why are we going through this again? Uh huh. So? Or meet Miss Bird to get arrested? Like, come on, dude. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, so this is Dev. I'm gonna have to present one of their profiles. A hundred percent. Okay, I can already tell you guys we're going to have to present Dustin's profile because he was dressed in his uniform and Maggie wasn't, so he did not know Maggie was a cop. My one little piece of life is back, you guys. It's blinking behind my head. Okay, here we go. Didn't agree with the witness. Okay, let's look at that photo one more time. Yeah, I mean, he's literally in his uniform. He has his hat, the whole shebang, okay? It's gonna be him, right? Oh, God. Here we go, guys. Here we freaking go. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I didn't want to die there. Oh, thank God. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. Yes. Yep. Yep.
That's exactly what I'm saying, Judge. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't want to be suspicious and tip off the cop. So instead, I'm going to push the cop off a bridge. And this man wants to go to college? I'm not going to let that go. He needs to go to jail. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Me too, my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no more questions. No. Uh, okay, well, the good news is my life is not behind my head right now, which hopefully means if I get this wrong, I don't die. I mean, obviously fingerprints, but like, guys, we never actually do any DNA or fingerprint testing in this game. At least in this early of the game. Ever. Like, we could have used fingerprints a million times last game before we actually got access to that. The phone stored numbers. I mean, we haven't overlooked that. We literally have. Oh God. I mean, but this could also be true because, you know, along with his con artist friends, does he have, I don't know, his mother or something? Gosh, freaking darn it. I wish I could see this freaking list a little closer. <laughs> okay, something I've overlooked. There's got to be fingerprints on the phone. Because there, if there was fingerprints on the phone, it would have to be his. Why else would his fingerprints be on there? I like this option too, though. But we didn't overlook that. Okay, we're choosing fingerprints, guys. Yes, Judge. You ever heard of it? Why would I do that? <sighs> Phoenix, why? Why, Phoenix? I better not freaking die over that. I better not die over that. Why not? Right. Right. Yeah, where did you find your cell phone? Oh my god. Not Phoenix getting possessed. Is it going to just keep you up? Yep, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it was a fire extinguisher. 
but do I still have it in my pocket? So you're admitting to, to battering me? I'm confused. God, it all rests on this, you guys. I have no idea what that man's talking about. What? No, object, Phoenix. Object. Phoenix. Object. No. Hello. Okay. You know what, Judge? No, pain, I am not. Yes, that's clear. Jesus. So he's been harassing me this entire trial. Okay. Well, yeah, it is my last chance because I have one piece of life. So thanks, Judge. I appreciate it. fork am I supposed to prove everything? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Judge is really like pain or are you with us pain? Stay, stay focused pain. Okay. My life is back. Okay, this is th the whole will explain everything is throwing me off. Like, are we trying to prove the phone is his still or what? Like, I wonder, I, I feel like it's going to be this. Reason number one is we've presented this. We presented this, we presented this, we presented this, yes. We presented that, we presented that. And I think we presented that. It's all of work. But we have not presented, well, we haven't presented the attorney's badge, but we have not presented this. And Maggie had said, Phoenix, yeah, you gave me your business card. It's my most prized possession, whatever. That business card probably led Wellington to me. That's how he found his cell phone. And that's when he hit me over the head. That has to be it, you guys. If it's not, I don't know what is. So let's just go. Let's just do it. Judge, please. Wait, wait, why did he actually give that to me? <laughs> Judge, why did you give that to me? No, 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 please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, no! I don't want any more questions! Okay. Okay. 
I recall Maggie saying that I wrote my cell, or I did, whatever, that I wrote my cell phone number on the back of the card. On the front of the card is my name. So it should be name, right? Because if he just had my phone number and that was the focus, he would have called my cell phone, which would not have proven that I had his cell phone. But the name would have allowed him to just find me as a person? Oh my God, I cannot right now, you guys. Like, I really cannot. I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. Oh man, what if it's the back? I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. But what does that matter? Is that just a trick? You guys, oh man, I really just don't want to die right now. Like this is, oh my God, okay. I'm just trying to make sure I am not missing anything. Like Wellington called his phone when I was sitting in the courthouse in that little scene and his phone rang with his ringtone, which confirmed that it was his phone. And in order to find me, he needed my name. If he had my phone number, that doesn't matter. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing something. Oh my God. Hold on. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to choose the name. And, and if I die, it's just going to be really sad. It's just going to be really sad. But like, I don't see how my cell phone number has anything to do with this. Ugh, but I, oh, why did they draw attention to the back though? Oh my God. You guys, this is probably torture to watch, especially if you know the answer, but I just don't want to die. Like, why did they draw so much attention to the back? I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. Maybe it is the back. Maybe it is the back. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with the name, you guys. Oh my God, I feel so, I don't feel good about either decision, but at least I understand the logic behind the name. If I'm choosing the back of the card, I'm choosing it out of fear because I think they're trying to send me a message, you know what I mean? But it doesn't make sense to choose the back. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go.
if y'all understood my logic there, please comment down below because it'll make me feel a little bit better because this is honestly so annoying. Like you guys do not understand how annoying that is. I will see you guys in one second. In a little over 10 minutes, we're back. And honestly, reading through that dialogue again, I still don't understand why this answer was incorrect. So I'm looking forward to hopefully finding out what's so dang important about the back of the card. Just do it, Maya, for all of our sakes. If you say so. Okay. Okay, so Wellington hit me with a fire extinguisher so he could steal my phone? Why? Why? Like, I get that. Okay, I get it. We're calling it. Yeah, okay. But one, he doesn't have to have my cell phone number to have my phone. And two... I still have his phone. Why would he want mine instead of taking his back? Still not, still not getting it. All this proves is that he didn't get a new phone. So, okay, I guess it can prove that I have his, but again, what does the phone number have to, no, I still don't agree. If we're trying to get led to the person who has his cell phone, even if it's for the purpose of stealing that person's phone, mine, the name would have been way more helpful in guiding him to me than my cell phone number would. Not getting it, not understanding. I mean, I'm glad we're finally addressing that. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. But again, still not understanding the name versus number issue. The front versus the back of the card issue. Not understanding that. Y'all might have to explain that one to me. Maybe I'm just a little biased and I can't see it because I'm pissed. But like, okay. okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did this man just unalive himself in the courtroom during the trial? Okay. All right. That was a lot for me. That was a lot. Uh, still doesn't explain the name versus back of the card. Oh, so he's alive. Great. Now he can finish out his very long sentence in jail. Period. It took a lot to get here, you guys. Way more than it should have. But again, can somebody please, somebody, without any spoilers, and also thank you guys for not spoiling anything. I appreciate you guys not being spoiling in the comments. Can somebody please comment what the heck I missed or what I'm missing with the whole name on the card versus back of the card thing because I think my logic was sound. I do still don't understand it, honestly. Otherwise, I'm going to have to look up an explanation because that's going to upset me if I don't figure that out. Just saying. Okay, after the trial. Wow. She is obsessed. She's in love. We love. 
You're so welcome, bird. You are so welcome. Oh yeah, Dustin is an innocent bystander. What? 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 <laughs> what the heck are you talking about, bird? What are you saying right now? Wow, Winston, thank you so much for joining us at the very end of the video. If you're even going to come onto the bed. Jeez, that's sad. Hello, sir. Would you like to come say hello to the people? They can't see you. You got to come closer. Hi. They've been making a fool out of your mom, Winston. They've been playing me like a fool. They don't know who I am. Oh, you just came to... Okay. You can go into your little spot. <laughs> he says hi, everyone. The goddess of mis misfortune is crazy. Lady Luckless? Dang. That's just rude. Aw. That's sad. What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Bird, you are way too hard on yourself, girl. Way too hard on yourself. Oh, I love that bird. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. I, I, okay. Sounds great, bird. Sounds great. Maya, are you like my assistant again? Because like, literally don't get my hopes up. I miss you so much. You have no idea. Yeah, it, it was a rough one. Yeah, still probably should go get an MRI, CT scan, PET scan, something, something, anything. Shoot, I'll take an ultrasound at this point. <laughs> oh, Maya, I missed you being pissed. Correct. That is the perfect description for Gumshoe, you guys. 100%. A little too easily. That's true. I'll give him that. Uh, except for the time I died, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> Is that 
who I think it is. Is that Misty Faye? I don't know. It kind of looks like her, but I don't really have a clear memory of what she looks like. And that's definitely Maya in the background. Don't tell me you guys. Okay. We will, we will, we will figure it out together, but that's, that's my guess as to what reunion will be occurring. And I'm a little scared because why is there a case about it? <laughs> well, you guys, what a video we uncovered quite a bit in this video. I did unfortunately pass away. And again, I am genuinely asking for anyone who has an explanation to please leave it in the comments. I'm very confused. However, we made it through. Okay. We had a great time overall. We learned a ton and I cannot wait to get into the next case. Okay. I don't know who's going to be reuniting other than Maya and I, which was very random, but we're going to figure it out together. Also shout out to Maya for coming back because I honestly thought Bird was going to be my new assistant, not to say she won't down the road. I have no idea, but uh, I wasn't really feeling her. But Maya, Maya, Maya's our OG, right, Winston? Winston wasn't there for the beginning videos. He doesn't remember. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye and go thrive.